For this you will need some additional tools, DTH or drill to hole machine, adhesive and brush, reinforcement cage, vertical post, metal jig, tamping rod, spirit level indicator, auto level, concrete mixture and shoot, vibrating needle, piano wire or line dory, divider or spacer, tamping rod, spanner, torque wrench and other hand tool. Please check that the material used is not damaged and all equipment is calibrated. Before you begin make sure warning signs are adequately placed around the site. Piling is done in four steps. Boring, vertical post casting, alignment of VP, concreting. We start with boring. This is done with a DTH machine, tractor augers or JCB augers. Depending on site conditions, you must select the tool according to the requirement and availability. In this case, we are using a DTH machine. The drill bit is selected as per the bore diameter or the drawing and fixed and tightened to the DTH. Use the spirit level and ensure that the bubble in spirit level is in center position. The drill bit is now completely vertical and ready for use. Anchor the DTH to prevent any movement during drilling. Start the DTH machine. One person will be present to remove the soil near the bore. Use a measuring tape and check that the bore hole dimensions are as per the drawing. Verify the diameter and depth of the bore hole. Check center line and row line out for bore holes. VP Casting Before starting we need to select the jig. For this you need to make sure that the jig is not damaged, and the bolts are rust free. Then check the level difference to see if the land is straight or slopey and refer to the drawing to see if the pile to be casted is regular, RCC or if couplers need to be used. To cast, a regular pile, first position the jig and loosen the screws and then place the vertical post in the bore hole. An RCC pile is usually casted where the stratu is soft or very rocky. For this, put a layer of concrete at the base of the bore hole. Place the reinforcement cage in the bore hole. Position the jig and loosen the screws. Then finally place the vertical post. In some cases, if the level is a little lower, couplers are attached to the bottom of the vertical post to provide an extension to the post and ensure that the correct height is maintained. Once the vertical post is in place we tighten the jig. In all cases when placing the vertical post, lift it above the ground and using the auto level, check the height of the post above the ground according to the drawing. Also, check the verticality of the post using the spirit level in both X and Y direction. Adjust the jig if required till verticality is achieved. Post must be perfectly vertical, if not, then it is difficult for installation of MMS structure. The 5th and 9th vertical posts are casted following the same procedure. Alignment of VP Post First we check if the posts are centered. For this, fix a pile metal cap on the vertical post. This pile cap has a vertical member and on top of that fix the reflector prism. Using the coordinates of the pile. As stored in total station, check that the coordinates of the prism and coordinates of the center of pile stored in total station are matched. 
ensure that the vertical post is completely centered. If wind pressure is high, then all posts must be centered with the help of the total station to avoid mistakes. Then, using the auto level check that the top level of the vertical post, is as per drawing. Once done, mark the post with OK. The same procedure is followed for the 5th and 9th post. Additionally, on the 9th post write the table number and grid number on the post. Then, using the piano wire check that the posts are perfectly leveled and aligned. All vertical posts in a table must be at the same level. Top level tolerance allowed is as per the drawing. Cast the second post and use a dividing rod to check centering and alignment. Then cast the third post and use the dividing rod to check centering and alignment. Following the same procedure cast the remaining intermediate post. Finally, measure the distance between the posts with the measuring tape, and make sure it is as per the drawing. Distance between two posts must be as per drawing. The tolerance allowed in both east-west and north-south direction is as per drawing.